No, we're not a happy society, even though when it comes to creature comforts and technological gee wizardry, we, we ought to be. You know, if amusements and if entertainments and if standard of living um, could address the matters of the soul, we would be, we'd be fixed. We'd be, we'd be in. But we're not. We're, we're unhappy. We're chasing after all kinds of different absurd meanings because we cannot live without meaning. I think culturally everything is coming apart. Um, I, I believe that the old center um, no longer holds and, um, and I believe that that is the result of um, the church abandoning its responsibility to be the center. So centuries ago the church really was um, the center that held the culture and the, uh, the civilization together. I believe it all goes back to the pulpit. It all, it all goes back to what is being uh, said and done when these Christians gather, uh, gather together on the Lord's Day. Yeah, many young preachers have not seen examples of this done. They're not taught of their responsibility to do it. And if the thought comes into their head that they should get into the pulpit and, and declare the word of God, thunder the word, uh, the first thing that comes to their mind is people are going to say, who does he think he is? Right. He's, he's just a messenger. He's, he's simply there to deliver what someone else said. The authority of the pulpit is not personal authority. It's the authority of office. Uh, that's what ordination does. Someone is designated, they're set apart by the church in order to declare not his own words, but the words of God. But if you get into the pulpit and you say, thus saith the Lord God, maker of heaven and earth, uh, hear the word of the Lord. Um, and well, that means if, if you're at all humble, you've got to stick close to the text. You've got to declare what the text declares. You've got, to have, uh, you've got to have a thorough going acquaintance with the Bible. You've got to have a robust systematic theology. You have to know how to, how to handle the Word of God uh, properly. And you can speak with authority because it's not yours. Any authority at all to alter, alter the message. I'm under orders. I have a commission. I'm, I was told to deliver this message to you. It's the task of the Christian, ch the Christian church to declare to a meaningless world what the meaning is, and declare it with authority, so that so that our declaration obligates belief. So people can refuse to believe it, but they have to suppress their conscience in order to refuse to believe it. They have to walk away from uh, the case for Christ that was compellingly made.